the one thing you should stop doing on social media. A few weeks ago, I was thinking about promoting one of the employees of my company. Since she works for us remotely and I didn't want to invite her for an interview because the old model of interview is outdated. You see, people can tell you nice things during the interview but there's a place where you can see them the real way they are and that's on social media. What I did was very simple. I used one of our staff's Facebook profile to log into Facebook since I don't use Facebook myself and search for our name. From there, I went through our posts and photos since about 2015 till date. In this video, I'll be sharing with you why I did this and the one thing you should stop doing on social media. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. You see, about one decade ago, most of us lived with some level of privacy and secrecy. We understood that our life is important and not everything about us should be known by even our closest friends. Those days are long forgotten. Why till today we still keep some secrets to our close friends, we easily and cheaply let the whole world know what is going on in our lives. This is what you should stop doing with your life on social media. Imagine the story I told you about one of my employees. Reading through her post and seeing her photos weren't a mere reading and looking. Instead, I seek to know the unspoken words behind her written words. More so, the pattern of her life can easily be seen from her February 7th post to her March 23rd. Without any training in criminology, you can easily see most people's life if you can simply take time to join their entire one-year social media post and photos. If someone can join your January 15th post that reads, Why do men behave like dogs? With the February 4th post that reads, If you think all men are the same, you lose the real man. We can easily see you lost the relationship and how you started another one. This may not sound like a very serious situation if it's just about knowing who cheated on you and who you date. But take a moment to think about it. If I was planning to hurt you physically, how much do you think I can know about you simply by reading through your last two years social media post? If I was planning to come after you, pretending I am the right man or woman you've been waiting for, how much can I learn from your social media posts and photos? If I am not your business competitor, how much can I learn about your secret strategies by simply going through your social media post? How much of your life is in the public and how much does it matter to you? Now, the other day I was watching a TV show where a man confessed to the fact that he forced his wife to confess to cheating on Facebook Live. I've read stories of couples who jump to social media 60 seconds after they have disputes with each other. So we as humans have gone this far. Isn't there any room for privacy or secrecy anymore? How can you have a meaningful life if all your life is in the public? You think about this. No valuable thing is at the reach of everyone. No meaningful life should be exposed to everyone. Stop posting everything that's going on in your life on social media because it can come to hurt you one day. Let me give you some tips to do this. 1. Remember you don't know what your future can look like. The truth about life is that we are all like chameleons. None of us have a single color. We are all multicolor. We have a fearful side, a bad side, a courageous side, a stupid side, a brilliant side and some good sides. What we try to do from our day-to-day -day activities is to present to the world the kinds of sides we believe whoever we are dealing with will appreciate. What makes this very sensitive is that the outside world doesn't believe you should be a chameleon. The world wants you to be kind, nice and brilliant all the time but your selfies from every restaurant can easily show your insecurity and you don't want an employer who is considering you for a promotion to know you are insecure though a part of him is insecure as well. Think about one of the biggest scandals of Donald Trump's political life the audio recording of him talking about how he maltreats women. That audio was recorded more than a decade before Trump contested an election. Yet, that recording nearly pulled him off the presidential race. It's even worse now. In those days when Trump said the stupid things he did, it was a very rare thing for your opinions to be documented. In our days, however, 
we voluntarily log into social media to document our lives, making it easy for anyone to copy and use it against us in the next 20 or 30 years. Now, what can anyone copy out of your social media that can hurt you in the next 30 years? What if you lose the opportunity to get a job or promotion simply because of a post on your Facebook feed? What if you lose a business partnership because of a photo you post? What if you lose a presidential election just because of something you wrote 25 years earlier? Is it really worth it? 2. Improve your self-esteem The number one reason why we want the whole world to see us is because we don't have a mirror in our homes, so we want the world to see us and give us a feedback about how we look. Go and buy a mirror. That mirror is self-worth. If you have a very healthy self-esteem, you not need much of people's opinion. One unfortunate thing about the social media is that, even if you have a healthy self-esteem, the more you post your life to the world, the more you want to do it because of the comments and likes and the less your self-esteem. 3. Give yourself a social media role I'm not making this video to discourage the use of social media. I'm only calling your attention for the excesses. If you want to reduce what you throw out to the world, you can give yourself some rules. For instance, you can decide never to write anything that can reveal some information about your private life or relationships. You can decide to limit the number of hours you spend on social media. You can even post some things and delete them a few days later. In conclusion, as you watch this video, someone is probably trying to know who you are by going through your social media profile. That person may be your employer, your competitors, or even someone who wants to hurt you. How much of your life is there in the public? Thank you very much for watching our videos. Would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.